speaker is Ajamu Baraka. Ajamu is a human rights defender whose experience spans four decades of domestic and international education and activism. Ajamu is a veteran grassroots organizer whose roots are in the Black liberation movement, in the anti-apartheid and Central American solidarity struggles. Ajamu is an internationally recognized leader of the emerging human rights movements in the United States and has been at the forefront of efforts to apply the international human rights framework to social justice advocacy in the U.S. for more than 25 years. Uh, welcome, Ajamu. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Gloria. And uh, thank you to the organizers who pulled this very important conversation together and allow me to share. It's been a very interesting and, and uh, insightful discussion. Um, and I'm going to uh, enter this in a slightly uh, different way. I mean, I think the, the issues around the uh, sort of tactical questions are very, very important, tactical and principled questions. Um, I'm gonna share uh, my short portion to uh, uh, present sort of another uh, look at this from the point of view, the perspective of another oppressed uh, community uh, and raise some, some basic sort of philosophical questions to get us into, into the uh, discussion even more deeply. You know, when, you, we, we, when we talk about issues around violence or nonviolence, you know, if one raises a question, what if we discover that uh, violence is an integral part of how society is organized? that uh, we, we should not be just limited to an understanding what we might refer to as physical violence, but to look at how violence is structurally integrated into every aspect, uh, the logic of the society in every aspect of contemporary societies. When you look at, and in a very sober and clear way, uh, the realities of this system in the U.S., and look at its origins, uh, you find that uh, that position that violence is embedded in the system should be quite obvious. You know, the US was born as part of the expansion of Europe that began in 1492. Uh, the invasion of the Americas by the European powers beginning that year um, created the material basis for what emerged as uh, so-called Western Europe. That expansion, that invasion had at its, at its core horrific violence. The uh, uh, conquering and attempted genocide against the indigenous populations across the Americas, uh, the horrific uh, barbaric slave trade uh, that was used to uh, create uh, the value that became uh, the riches of, of Western Europe. Uh, the uh, violence that continued uh, as the U.S. Uh, marched itself from the east coast of the territory we now refer to as the U.S. to the west coast, involved in a systematic process of conquering uh, the indigenous peoples uh, and confining those that were uh, still, uh, uh, still in place physically, uh, confining them to open air concentration camps that we refer to as reservations. The structural violence continues. That is the very uh, foundation and development of, of the capitalist system, the colonial capitalist system um, uh, is a, an expression, an institutional expression of violence. The very fact that uh, you, you have in the US uh, mass incarceration, uh, you have a vicious police, uh, you have uh, uh, people who are not able to realize their fundamental human rights uh, for a basic uh, uh, elements of dignity like housing, health care, uh, education, uh, food, clean water, where uh, African or, or black folks and people of color I uh, have uh, maternal um, uh, and 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 um, uh, 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 infant mortality rates uh, that uh, mirror what we see in the so-called global south, where you have a coronavirus that has this disproportionate 
violent impact on people of color. Uh, violent impact meaning basically um, thousands of people unnecessarily lost their lives because you have a public health system that was dismantled by the greed of this white minority capitalist uh, ruling class. So you have this kind of structural violence um, and then you have a, uh, a, a political system that that uh, in, it, that uh, uh, uses structural violence uh, to uh, uh, continue to extract value from people around the world that won't recognize their right to self-determination. When you have uh, war at the center of the uh, attempt to try to maintain their dominance, then what we have is a question. If we have this as the objective reality, then how can we uh, not side with the rulers if we take positions that raise questions about the kinds of responses and forms of resistance uh, that all of us who are exploited and oppressed by the system might take. So the question becomes, is it a question of, of nonviolence or is it a question of being anti-violent? If one is against violence, then that puts you on the side of the oppressed because the oppressed have a historic necessity, a historic requirement to try to change their conditions, to try to change the very structure of how society is organized. So if you recognize that the societies are basically uh, inherently violent uh, and you stand against violence, then you stand with the oppressed. And that, I think, my friends, is the historical task we have to deal with. That when you find uh, people who are struggling for their dignity in places like Nicaragua and, uh, and, and Cuba, uh, Venezuela, uh, when you see the destructive power of the U.S. in places like Libya uh, and, and Afghanistan and Iraq, when you see that they are prepared to engage in a war against the Chinese in the Indo-Pacific, we have no other choice than to conclude unless we are able to take power from this crazed minority, one then minute. we are all going to be doomed. That these folks have only one interest and one interest alone. That is full spectrum dominance to maintain their hegemony globally. Our responsibility has to be to come to the painful conclusion that the only way that we can survive as collective humanity is to take power from these gangsters. Uh, thank you and look forward to our, our conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Ajamu.